George Filipidis. I'm an associate professor uh, here at the University of South Florida and uh, my focus areas uh, have been for a long time the conversion of different types of uh, materials, usually waste materials such as biomass and lately algae into fuels and chemicals. Um, the two areas, biomass is of interest because we have plenty of it sitting around as agricultural waste, uh, forestry waste, yard waste, and it's been landfilled or simply decomposing. Uh, we are developing technologies here to convert that biomass through a biochemical process into fuels such as ethanol, butanol, sugars, as well as uh, more value-added products, organic acids, and others. Um, at the same time, realizing that uh, there is no silver bullet in this effort to uh, rid ourselves of our heavy dependence on fossils. We are also developing algae technologies. Uh, there we grow algae and these algae produce lipids or other chemicals inside the cell. Then we extract those chemicals and we recover and process them. Algae provide a very interesting path to producing jet fuel and military fuels uh, in, in, in a way that revolutionizes the industry. Why? Because as opposed to growing plants on land with algae, we can grow them in ponds on unutilized or underutilized land and with the fast growth rate of the microorganisms, we hope we're going to be able to produce eventually thousands of gallons per acre per year as opposed to a few hundred gallons per acre per year that is usually the case with corn ethanol for instance. Uh, in our work uh, we do a lot of interdisciplinary work. We combine chemical, mechanical, engineering, environmental engineering with chemistry, physics uh, as well as business. It's very important. Uh, here uh, at the USF uh, Biofuel Center, uh, we focus on working with the private sector. We are trying to close the gap between the lab and the commercial arena. So, working with the private sector, developing intellectual property, licensing that, hiring students to do their masters and PhDs and get to know the industry, we provide also opportunities to them to even get job offers before they even finish their PhDs. And most important of all is this is an economic stimulus for the state, for the country, because we can use domestic feedstocks, we can produce oil products here in the country and utilize it so that we can cut down on the import of oil from foreign countries. So great opportunities for biofuels, a lot of challenges in front of us, but uh, we are very optimistic that we can overcome with the help of bright minds in the form of students coming in all the time into the university and working with the industry to understand the bottom line for them, which is very important, how we can make that happen. So that's, that's all from here. Thank you.